Hello and welcome to Gmod Transmission Station, and this is the third box of Shadows of Vernistrad. I am your host, James Lovingwell, here to crack packs and eat snacks. Let's get right into it. We got a lot of big pools we're still missing in this set, and I'm going to find them. I'm going to find every last one of them. Come on, be nice. Bag over here, sweetie. And throw it over the wife's head. Ah, oh, dang, missed. I just put it on my head like a bale. Note to self, Wizards of the Coast plastic wrap, even when balled up, does not fly very well. Oh. Feeling good? Feeling confident? I like that chick's hair. You like that chick's hair? I like that chick's hair. The one in the middle? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Pack one. Here we go. Let's find the hits. Would you like a hair tie, love? No, I would not like a hair tie. Are you sure? You could have a puff. You should take a puff hair tie. Oh, I found the divorce card. You found the divorce card? Deny existence. Deny existence. That's a divorce card. <laughs> okay, I'll accept that. <laughs> if there was ever to be a divorce card, that would be it. She's always. Deny existence. Uh, the names in this set I appreciate are a lot easier to pronounce. Hint, hint, Wizards of the Coast. <laughs> <sighs> Actually, English. <laughs> nah, I stand by it. The worst part about playing Magic is having to pronounce Magic cards. Mm -hmm. Like, there are now a series on YouTube for the entire purpose of giving you official Wizards pronunciations mm -hmm. of cards. Mm -hmm. Because even Wizards realizes that mm -hmm. it's kind of insane. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you know it's bad when it comes to that. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Three for three. All three boxes we pulled in Avacyn. Ooh, nice. That is three for three on Avacyn's. Rocking and rolling this morning. Oh, wow. Woo. All right, well. Woot, woot. That's the way to start a day. Happy morning. Mm -hmm. This is how nerds have happy morning. Right. What'd you do? I woke up, pulled an Avison. Hey, there we go. Rare land. Oh, what the hell? We seriously just pulled the same foil in all three boxes as well. What? Huh. This is a weird set of boxes. Huh. 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 Mysterious. Uh, this is some very strange distribution. Yeah. I don't know what to make of it. I see you pulling uh, lands over love with the rares. Are those extra valuable lands or something? Well, no, that's the rare land and then the foil land. Ah, okay. Those are rares and foils. Okay. Because it looks like an uncommon for me. It is. It's an uncommon foil. Ah. <laughs> Same uncommon foil we pulled on two other occasions. I see. I see now. But no seizing. No, bad. seizing bed. Oh, 
Olivia's card. <laughs> yeah, that's not the actual Olivia. The actual Olivia is a twelve dollar rare. Which we pulled in our first box. Mm -hmm. It was wonderful. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't mind seeing an Olivia again. Divorce card. You and your divorce cards. Mm -hmm. I promise I'm not trying to send like an extra message here. Mm-hmm. Sure. Tormenting voice. Ooh. They made a card all about you? Hey. <laughs> well, it did. Oh, How'd you get wizards to get you to commission your own private card? Uh, I could ask the same of you. Rotten heart ghoul. Aww. <laughs> That's not very nice. <laughs> Comes around, goes around. And I am not making this up. Apparently the divorce card, plus the cards named after, lead to murderous compulsion. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> So many jokes could be made, and will be made. And this is why I put my brain in a jerk. <laughs> it's because in the morning, I'm a little out there. I'm not a morning person. All right, we gotta find the rest of the money in this box. There must be treasures to behold other than Avacyn. I can think of a certain flip planeswalker I'd like to see. Oh, that is cool. We have a foil Tristadecophobia. Nice. Oh, that's really cool. Dude, if that's worthless, we should keep it. No kidding. That's awesome. Josh, please let us know if it's worthless. <laughs> I'm going to look at prices. <laughs> Burn in the jar. Mm -hmm. That could also be added to our little divorce joke lineup. <clears> hmm. <throat> well, it's a mythic. <laughs> it is a mythic. Well. I'm noticing that with this set versus the set before it, the colors seem to be evenly distributed. It's not like we have an insane amount of blue or red or yeah. versus others. Blue's still the most popular, but almost common, I should say.
Oh, we're almost a third done with the box already, and we've had one big hit so far. Come on, Lynn. Two more hits? Just two? two. I just want to know where our thing in the ice is. Right. How is it we haven't pulled a single thing in the ice yet? I'm going to laugh if it's in the, literally the last pack of the last stack. <laughs> I see that being our luck. I just want to know where our thing in the ice is. Mm -hmm. Deny existence. We denied the existence of the thing in the ice? No. I think we denied the existence of a thing in the ice. Use my tormenting voice. Tormenting voice. <laughs> or I could use malevolent whispers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Someone's having fun with card names. <laughs> I am very much having fun with card names. Hey, there we go. Thank There's you. a good one. No, uh, Relentless Dead. Ah. Good mythic. Hmm. Very good mythic. And there's another Westvale Abbey. We're three for three in Westvale, Westvale Abbeys as well. Huh. Wow. That's a good pack. A solid Mythic along with the Westvale Abbey in the same booster pack. You don't get much better than that. All that was missing was a nice foil to go with it. Okay, moving right along here. Moving on up. I don't want to live on the east side. The east side's generally the bad side of town, you're right. We have here. Hey, hey, there's the Olivia, the legitimate Olivia. Hey. Nice pull. Hey. Very nice pull. Should make sure to tell her that. It's worth twelve dollars. It's not every day you get to have friends that are, you know, have share a name with a uh, magic card. Right? Like, the magic card names are so weird that it doesn't happen very often at all. Yeah. That's what I found the interview with a vampire card. Uh-huh. Vampire Noble. Yeah. Yeah. That's the interview with a vampire card, I'll agree. Somebody found the statin card form. Now, to be honest, one of my only criticisms of this set is the fact that all the lands to me look very similar. Oh, honey, you missed the foil. Yeah, well, that happens. Just put it over here in the pot. I've been checking for him, but... Yeah, because it's morning time and the sun's coming from your side of the table. I'm not getting a lot of light. Yeah. So it's not as easy for me to check his foils as it was the last time. <laughs> hey, another rare land. Hey. And a flip foil. Pack had some fighting it.
All right, come on, show me some love. Mm. Wouldn't necessarily call that love. Mm. See, I gotta make sure that I open these packs quickly or else she'll get bored over there sorting. Right. <laughs> and if I get bored sorting, then I'll start thinking up mischievous things to deal with the cards. And well, I'll throw weird names. That's not a good thing. Hmm? I already have more ideas brewing. Mm. Just so you know. <laughs> I already have ideas brewing over here. Pick the brain. Pick the brain. Pick the brain. That's why you gotta put your brain in a jar. Mm -hmm. If you don't put your brain in a jar, somebody's gonna pick the brain. Mm -hmm. Whoa! <clears throat> that that one just fell apart on me. No. No, no, no. <laughs> bad. Very, very bad. You garbage packaging. <laughs> hopefully wow. That, hopefully that's not an omen to what's inside of it. Right? I better not be an omen, man. Maybe it's trying to send a clue. If there's a clue token in this thing, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> Tristan Ecophobia, again. <laughs> and, yep, there's a clue. Yep, you got a clue. <laughs> <laughs> blue, blue, a clue. Oh, that's way wrong. It's been too many years since I've watched that bloody show. That's a good thing. Yeah. Now, isn't it the name, like, three times in a row and then clue? I have no clue, okay? <laughs> but I have you, no idea. What are you kidding about? You got a ton of clues over here in the <laughs> magic box. <laughs> Before you in the audience judge me, I have nieces and nephews that have subjected me to that show. <laughs> so there. Didn't think it was running anymore. Um... The old ones with our Steve is not really running anymore. So uh, that's for legal reasons. <laughs> uh, sometimes he still comes on, though, as like a special, but now it's mostly his replacement. Yeah, his Jeff repla I'm just saying, I don't think they're making new episodes anymore. I think it's all syndication, uh, is my point. I'm pretty sure it's all syndication. I'm pretty sure it was syndication when we were watching it. No, when we were watching it, it was legit, because... Well, at least when I was watching it, it was legit, because... Uh, when I was watching, it was when Steve went to jail. I was there for the Steve-Jeff transition. Yes, I was. I was there, too. So, no, those weren't syndicated episodes. Mm. For those of you who don't know, the original host of Blue's Clues was arrested with, like, eight bricks of heroin in his trunk. Needless to say, that made for a very awkward conversation one Saturday morning as a little kid. <laughs> Mommy, why is there a different person instead of Steve? And why does this one have uh, squares on his shirt instead of lines? I miss the lines. Where's the line guy go? <laughs> exactly. That was my problem with it, too. His shirt sucked. Yes, it did. It was horrible. <laughs> This is a weird conversation to have while opening up packs of shadows over in a stride. We've had weirder conversations, though. This is what happens when you're a husband and wife team and you're almost the same age. Mm -hmm. Like six months apart in age. You remember a lot of the same stuff. <laughs> to a certain degree. One third left. Ooh, another joke card. Another joke card. <laughs> Say what you will, at least I'm not dead weight. <laughs> really? I told you. 
Come on, cards. Don't fight me. Meh. 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 No fight. You will be sorted into your respective piles. I am not the sorting hat. You cannot argue with me. Mountain. <sighs> well, this last third is going to be very entertaining because it's got to have most of the rest of the hits. Yeah. Well, to be fair, we actually have pulled three mythics so far, so yeah. like, now that I think about it, we do have three mythics. Two of them are pretty decent mythics. No big money mythics, obviously, but like two of our mythics are pretty decent mythics. Mm. Whoever ends up getting those other three cases, I hope they get a hit. If we don't get the hit. Oh. <laughs> Rare land. Didn't even bother to say anything. Horrible human being. Right? No. Rare land. I angelically purge you of your <laughs> sin to not. Showing the rare land? Yes. <laughs> you haven't really said stop it with the joke, so keep going. Okay. <laughs> I'm running out of packs. I'm running out of hope. Don't mind me. I'm just a silent observer. <laughs> well, that's a lie. Uh, all right. Oh, no. One of the packs fell out. Ah. I'm piling up all the uh, loose booster pack trash inside of the empty box. See how high I can pile it. <laughs> Never ah, pack avalanche. Mm. Not mm. too many packs left. No. So many lost chances to make name jokes. <clears throat> Run out. Journal. Found an emblem. <laughs> Emblems are great as long as you have the planeswalkers they belong to. Yeah. Why are you giving me trouble this morning, Pax? Huh. I don't know if I've actually gotten um, uh, the seasons past in any of our boxes before. I think there might actually be a new mythic. Yeah. Cool. I could be wrong, and if I am, I'm pretty sure somebody will correct me in the comments. I almost guarantee it.
That's a nice foil. Mmm, skin invasion. Ugh. 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 Four packs remaining. Four packs remain. Check and see if it was in an email. Are we seriously gonna get another box with no planeswalkers in it? Dang. No, don't tell me that. Those planeswalkers are damn elusive in this set, apparently. Apparently. Apparently, they're worthy of the mythic label. Yeah. Three packs left. Devil. The Hawking Devil. No good way to make a joke out of that name so far. <laughs> Give me a couple hours and I will. <laughs> Last pack. Oh boy. Last pack. Oh my. Let's see how it goes. Mm. Ready to go. Yep, that's it. Well, that looks like that's all of our hits for box number three. We got five Mythics, a Foil Tristodecophobia, and Westfell Abbey, and three of the Rare Land Cycle. I'm just going to make a prediction right now and say that when we go to price this out, this is definitely going to be one of the worst boxes. Um, just doing some quick math in my head. I mean, you've got Olivia, Avison and the uh, dead Black Mythic over there, which is basically the only three big money hits that are here. So that'll be really interesting to see what the final box total is on this. And, well, I guess I'm not going to know for a little while. Thank you very much for watching box three of Let's Open a Case Worth of Shadows of Innistrad. Can't wait to see you in box number four. And remember, if you want to win some booster packs of Shadows of Innistrad, along with our unhinged rares... You can do so by simply subscribing to GMA Transmission Station and leaving a comment down below. Thank you very much, have a great night, and we will see you all in box number four.